this is, uh, again, Mike O'Brien. I'm on Block Island. I'm at Captain Joe's house here on beautiful Block Island, as you can see behind us. And um, this is the uh, mahi-mahi that he caught just off of Block Island, uh, about 40 about, miles. About 45 miles off Block Island in, in a place called The Dump. It's uh, <laughs> east of Block Island. And uh, the Mahi Mahi have been running really big this year, and it's 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 been great. You know, any of the uh, lobster traps that are out there have a, a big orange ball around them, and the Mahi Mahi concentrate around the, the, the big orange balls, and we troll by and we hook them, and it's just it's just a great fish to catch. Uh, the colors are beautiful, and it, it's even better to eat. So, how big was this fish? I, I saw it come in. I could not believe how large it was. The largest one I've ever seen. Uh, you know, this is about four feet long, so I'm, I'm not sure on the weight, but somewhere around 30 pounds, 35 pounds. Uh, the world record, I mean, the New England record was caught a couple weeks ago out here, right in the dumping area. I think it was 67 pounds, and it was caught by one of the patrons. So, are, are, you, are you trolling for these fish? We are. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what do you use for bait? Uh, we troll a, a fish that's caught in Florida, a bait fish called the Ballyhoo. Uh -huh. And we troll those up here, and we also troll some plastic. Is that, is, is that a, a, that's a live fish? Or is it's, it's, a, it's a dead fish. It's a dead fish, and it's rigged to, to make it look like it's swimming. So it's swimming, yeah. We also uh, troll a lure called the Green Machine, which is can used all over the mainland. That's probably the number one lure that everybody uses. We, we, uh, we use that. And actually, we caught a blue marlin, and that's what we caught it on. We caught it on uh, uh, Green Machine. And the boys reeled it in. It was, it was just a great trip. So, uh, what is the season to catch these? This is the best time right now. Uh -huh. so August, so September August. Is, is, the, is the best time. The, the water from the Gulf Stream is a little bit short. Uh -huh. And uh, when, it, when it does that, it, it's just a bonus for all of us around here. The rides are not that bad. How about swordfish? I've seen swordfish. Only on the on the edge of the continent, the a place we call the canyons. We, we catch them there. Right? Uh, they don't normally move in shorts. Typically, this time of year, I keep on buying swordfish from the restaurant. Uh, and a lot of times, I'm able to get hard moves. While it's the Gulf Stream area, they're actually catching it up, up in, towards Canada. Yes. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had a t uh, fishing tournament on Block Island called the Tri State Canyon Shootout. And I believe there was about 10 swordfish caught just, just uh, 80, 90 miles south of here. Uh, I think one of them was 387 pounds. Uh -huh. So, uh, how are they catching them out here? Are they harpooning them? Are they lying for it? They're, they're catching them out with, with hook and line with a squid for bait down about 200 feet, and they're fishing at night. So, they're either drifting at night or anchored up in six, seven hundred feet of water. Uh -huh. And uh, they're, they're catching them with squid. Okay. So, who, who actually caught this fish? Uh, my oldest son, Joey, actually caught it. Joey? Why don't you come over here and uh, tell us how you did this? Well, Joey, how did you catch this fish? Uh, that fish, by the way, is probably about as tall as you. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So tell me how you did this. Uh, well, a big man put me on the fish. Thank you. Uh, I got it in about a minute. A minute? No, it took you about 10 minutes to get it in. It was a good fight. He was fishing with both on with the harness on it. And, uh, he was jumping out of the water. Just jumping up and down. And it was just a beautiful fish. Is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? Uh, no, I've caught in a 300 pound blue shark. Wow. So was that, was that scary bringing that on board? The blue shark? Yeah. Yeah, it was. But they come up and they uh, they bite their tails. So, because they think it's like a human hand. Really? Yeah. So once they bite their tails, they can't fight or swim very well any longer. So yeah. that's when you bring them on. Yeah. We we don't normally bring blue sharks in yeah. the boat. Uh, we let we let the blue shark that he caught go. Uh huh. Yeah. Alive to swim another day. Right. Okay. There's a lot of them go for that. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what is your favorite kind of fish to catch? What what gives you the most uh, so, well, Amani used to be my favorite, but yesterday we got a nice blue marlin. Really? And it's really fun watching it jump out of the air. Now, is that a, a, a catch and release fish? Yes. It is. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, uh, people eat them. Yeah. We, I, I think it's normal for people to, right. in the United States to eat them. It's nice to me. You're all like catching a like, great fish. Or like, yeah. Eat them. Yeah. So, all right. Okay, thanks. Yeah. So everybody here to enjoy the bop is at the reference. Absolutely. We're waiting. Yes. <laughs>
See this one as it's cooking. See how white that fish is. You can see how flaky it is, how tender. This is just such a nice eating fish. Very good. Long by he's a This will be on my menu for the next few weeks. For sure. For sure. Okay, so I'm going to put on the teriyaki. See how the fish is sort of grayish and as it cooks it turns nice and white? Just a very, very nice fish. This one's almost done. So it's a little bit gray inside. The outside's are nice and white. Just a few minutes longer, that'll be done. This will take longer, obviously. It's thicker. John, you want me to make you a plate? No, I'm good. Oh, I'm good right now, thank you. That's the teriyaki. He's going to try that. He's never had a teriyaki. Mahi Mahi teriyaki is like pancakes and syrup. They go together so well. Michael caught his first tuna when he was five years old. Oh, oh, Michael too? He's yep. like five years old, about 10 miles south of here, right after a hurricane. The seas were rolling in 10, 12 feet. And I had a bunch of boys with me, and I all the other boys said, there's no way I'm going. Michael John, right before he got out. He caught a whole group of people. He got his fish. And then he said, Dad, turn around, go play a guy. Well, five years old.
Thank you so much. 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 In our trips, because people are on the boat with me. And people say, you know what? You're going to have to do that. 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 You're going to have to do
Uh, Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I like him. <laughs> Those two heads yeah, together, yeah. they will kill each other in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. it would be a street fight. Yeah, they would, they would have a street fight. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. 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 Yeah.